it's Carolyn here from Absolute Hair Health Clinic. I just wanted to demonstrate uh, today about how to use our acid buffer. Now a lot of people have uh, been asking different ways of using it, so we're just going to demonstrate it so it's nice and easy. We want to talk about the importance though of using the acid buffer and why we actually use it. Now a lot of my clients need to test their pH, which is uh, acid or alkaline. Uh, the natural body needs to be in an alkaline state for any natural supplements to work. I also find by testing the pH of a person's body, if I've got it in the balance where it should be, then we can have a more successful hair regrowth. So to do that, we have our little test kit litmus paper, and you can buy your Easy uh, pH test kit either online at Easy pH or obviously uh, with us. So it's a very informative book um, about why pH is so important. But the most important page at the back is your results page. So we all pH test every day. First thing in the morning, and it's the first sample of urine, is the only one that is relevant to what your body has done uh, through the evening. Now once we know what our pH is, if it is not quite what we need it to be, 6.8 to 7.2, then we may need to cheat or use the help of what we put together as an acid buffer. Now the acid buffer is a natural alkalizing drink that we take before bed. So we say the label is black, which means bedtime, night time, to remind you that that's when you actually need to use it. So we're going to be um, using a glass of water to dilute the acid buffer. Now we only want to use a glass, a small glass, sorry, of water because we don't want to have a big drink before bed. And we always want to use filtered water, whether it's bottled water or whether you have your own water filter. You can buy the jugs to keep in your fridge or an on-bench filter. So you get your filtered water, definitely not tap water. And we just use a small amount into the glass. And then we've got our acid buffer. And what we want to use is a heat teaspoon. So it's not a flat teaspoon, not a rounded, but just a heat teaspoon. So can we see that? Heat teaspoon into the water and it's going to effervesce. So some people describe it a bit like a Barocca and it fizzles a little bit, as we can see there. Then we swish it around and then you simply just drink it. Okay, if you want to stir it, you can, but not until it's actually settled down. You drink it and then I suggest brushing your teeth and then pretty much going to bed. Now, if you do happen to take any natural supplements before bed, you can take them after the acid buffer, knowing that your body's in an alkaline state. So I hope that information helps and it makes it easier for you to use your acid buffer. Keep in mind, if you do need to use it through the day for indigestion or other things, you can. But for alkalizing and pH, black 